<laughs> okay, so we're just about to head out for free practice one Friday morning. Uh, about half past nine, so the track's going to be a little bit greasy, but we'll see how we go. Session's not really about too much, a little bit to sort out things for the weekend, so wish us luck. So we've just had a good FP1, finished sixth, about four tenths off, but we think we can find that. Just going in to see Ash now and going to do a little bit of data. Right. So, yeah, like your biggest loss to a grand mil. Yeah. But over a couple of laps, over you comparing yourself to yourself, you can't you are capable of doing it, if that makes sense. So we are just about to head out for FP2. Uh, a quality run and a race run this time so yeah trying a few different things on setup but we'll see how it goes looking to try and improve on p6 and our lap time earlier on Yeah, we're going to the grid to do some uh, photos with the rest of the Clio Cup grid, so they're all there. <laughs> So yeah, we're just on the way to, to driver's briefing Saturday morning. We're about to be run over by a golf buggy. Uh, so yeah, don't know what time we're at now, about half past ten. Uh, yeah, driver's briefing, signing on, and then we're going for qualifying this afternoon, about one o'clock. Hopefully going to be P1, but who knows? So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we've just done qualifying. Uh, we have qualified P1 for race one and P2 for race two. So uh, possibly my best ever qualifying actually. So we're very happy at the moment. Bring on the race later on today and then tomorrow. Mum was obviously saying something there. She's just a bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about sandwiches and dinner. I didn't realise you were busy with. You are behind the scenes. That's, this is like... <laughs> 
We're not far off going out for race one, uh, so obviously the first round of the season. Uh, very excited, starting on pole. Uh, our best qualifying session ever in the Cleo Cup, so yeah, it's good to follow that up. Hopefully we're going to be quick in the race. It's going to be dry. We've got our best set of tyres. We think it's probably going to rain tomorrow, so and fingers crossed that pays off. A good start, get away. My teammate Jack McCarthy is starting second, so hopefully he can slot in behind me and we bring home a pyro one too. We'll see how it goes on a little bit later. So the guys uh, finished fixing the car after our race yesterday. Uh, we had a, a good start, a red flag very early on for somebody that had rolled. And then we got off on the second start, uh, dropped to second position at the end of the first lap, and then uh, had to try and battle back through from there. We were the fastest car on track, uh, caught back up to Paul Rivetta, who was in the lead, and then tried to go for a move at Druids, which just didn't quite work. We bent the, the front left uh, steering upright, uh, and as a result of that, I had some uh, steering that was quite a long way out. So the next three laps were, were very difficult. I fell back through the pack, fell to fifth, but the lads doing a really good job sorting the car out. Uh, we've had to go and uh, you know get a little slap on the wrist this morning. Um, you know I made a mistake and um, I needed a little turn off. So we've done that now and uh, on to race two, starting second on the grid. Uh, it's going to be wet today, so we we'll, we just kind of got to see how that goes. But I got a good feeling we were we were fastest on the wet test day, uh, at Silverstone for media day. So. I very much hope that we're going to, to stay at the front of the race this time. We're just making, uh, we just made the final decisions on tyres and uh, damper settings and ready to go. We've just been waiting to see what the weather's been doing. Uh, we've decided new fronts, uh, slightly worn rears and hopefully that's the, uh, the correct settings. So we'll find out in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, How important for you, Max, was it to get that jump while everyone at the start, given what was happening behind? Yeah, it was massively important. I didn't want to push too hard at the start and ruin the tyres, so just in case anybody could come back to me at the end. Yeah, I just uh, tried to create that gap and then manage it as the race went on. One baby. <laughs> so yeah, race two, P1. Let's watch the curb, Damien. Um, yeah, obviously a great result. We won it. Got a good start. Pulled away from then. Uh, built up a bit of a gap and kept that to the end. So yeah, I'm over the moon. And that is probably the best way to end this video. Cheers for watching.